Hello out there world. My name is Selma Edgar. I am a Protestant Christian missionary. This is my broadcast title. Hi there Barack. Welcome. My name is Selma Edgar. I am a Protestant Christian missionary and I am broadcasting from St. Charles, Missouri in the United States. And Barack, I believe you were on with me the other day. It's good to see you again. And hello, uh, with sorrow. I'm not sure what that says, but welcome. I normally work on Saturdays, and that's why I'm not on Periscope. But uh, okay, great, Barack. Um, but since I'm not working today, I decided I would uh, do another broadcast. And I have just a little bit um, different idea for today, since uh, it's kind of an extra day, so to speak. I was thinking about this for the last couple of days, and obviously I get asked a lot of questions on Periscope, and that's what my broadcast title is, is Questions I Ask Mrs. Selma Edker. Uh, well, the topic today, Barack, is not one particular thing. What I decided to do is I jotted down several of the questions that I've been asked over the past months. And I'm going to just read off some of those questions and, and answer them today. Uh, because there's always new people on, and uh, I'm sure there will be people listening today that haven't heard me before or maybe haven't heard me answer these particular questions. So, of course, anyone out there is welcome to ask me something else today, too. Don't, I don't have to stick just to these questions, but I decided this would be fun to do today. And uh, so I'll start first with um, some personal information. Uh, many people have asked me if I'm married when they first come on. And yes, I am married to Norman Etker. He is the love of my life. Um, we've been married now for about three and a half years. And we live in St. Charles, Missouri. That's something else people ask, well, where are you? And of course, that's uh, to be expected. People want to know where we are. And here's a map of the United States. Okay, um, if you have a question, I'd be glad to take it. We live here just about in the center of the United States. <laughs> well, hello, Dubai. Welcome. Okay, so your question about Trump and Clinton. Um, you know, I think uh, Norman drew that. Well, thank you very much. We love Dubai also. We love all the people of the world. And that's why we're on Periscope. Because we are Protestant Christian missionaries. And that means that we have been spiritually born again. We believe only in the Protestant Christian Bible. And when a person is spiritually born again, the Bible tells us that the love of God is shed abroad in your hearts. In other words, when you're born again, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. And then God puts his love in your heart for all people. Thank you. And that's why we're on Periscope. It's that love of God that's in our hearts that compels us to tell other, to tell everyone who will listen that Jesus alone is the way of salvation. That's the most important message in the entire world. And it's God's love that compels us to tell about Jesus. And so to answer that question about Trump or Clinton, you know, I could, I could 
go into a, a deep discussion about that and we have strong opinions about it. But I really don't want to get into politics today, so I'm going to answer it the way, the same way I've heard Norman answer it at times, and that is that Hillary Clinton needs to be saved, she needs to be born again, Donald Trump needs to be spiritually born again, and so does President Obama. So do most of the people in the world because they've either not heard the message of salvation through Jesus alone or they've heard it and rejected it. And rejecting Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior is the only thing that sends a person to hell. So on that note, uh, one of the questions on my list is people have asked me, do I believe hell is real? And I can answer that very clearly because Jesus himself talks about it many times in the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament. And when I am talking about the Protestant Christian Bible, that is our current English Bible. It was translated from Greek into English about 1500 AD. At that time, what does hell look like? Okay, it, uh, the Bible describes hell as a lake of fire, a place of eternal torment. Um, and I'll read a couple of scriptures here that I have written down since you asked that question. There's many scriptures in the New Testament about hell and here's one of the verses that Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 13 he's uh, talking about what will happen at the end of the age that means after Jesus returns Jesus said about himself one of one of the titles he called himself was the son of man and he said, The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, iniquity is sin, and shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. So it's described in this verse as a furnace of fire. And Another time Jesus said also in the book of Matthew chapter 10, he said, Fear not those which can kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Um, I see your question about the TTP. Just hold on a minute, please. Also, in the book of Revelations 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, which is, means those people who will go to heaven, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Uh, uh, Barack, uh, you know, I often wish now that... Uh, I could talk to my mom. She's She passed away a year ago. She was 99 years old. And um, I don't remember now if I ever asked her where she heard the name Selma and why she chose to name me Selma. If I ask her, I, I can't remember. And if I, probably if I would have asked her, um, she might not have remembered either, but uh, I think it's a beautiful name, and I'm, I'm glad she chose it for me. Um, I'm going to read one more verse about hell, and then uh, I'll go on to other things. And uh, this is in the book of Jude, 
in the Protestant Christian Bible New Testament is talking about Sodom and Gomorrah and if you're not familiar with that Sodom and Gomorrah were cities in the Old Testament of the Protestant Christian Bible and it says Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion they serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. So again, hell is described as a lake of fire and it's eternal. It never ends. And Sodom and Gomorrah were very, very wicked cities, totally given over to sexual immorality and perversion. And it says that's an example for people everywhere today. The people who indulge in that kind of sin, or any kind of sin, will go to hell if they never repent and accept Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior. Uh, back, hi there, Panda Turtle, welcome. For those who've just come on, this is my name right here. Selma Edker. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary in the United States along with my husband Norman. Um, and again, I can understand your curiosity about the political questions because it's, uh, it's a, a raging thing here in the United States and probably most people in the world are aware of, of the fight that's going on here for the presidency. Uh, the election will take place in November. Hi, Brenda Moon. Welcome. But, um, you know, it's, it's such a controversial subject. Norman and I definitely have our opinions on it. We know who we're going to vote for. But I really don't want to get into a political discussion on here. I think it's more important to talk about Jesus and also Hi there, welcome. Uh, I do want to go back to some of these previous questions. Um, someone, is kind of amusing in a way, someone asked me just a couple of days ago, how is an old woman on Periscope? Well, I realize, um, for those of you who don't know, I'm 69 years old, and I realize that the majority of people, if not all, Hi, Rich. Welcome. All of you out there probably are much younger than I am and, and Norman. I'm well, thank you. I hope you are too. So, um, the reason that I'm able to be on Periscope is because of my wonderful husband. Even though he's 70 years old, he is very diligent. <laughs> the best thing is to go to bed early. <laughs> My husband is very diligent about keeping up with all the technology. <laughs> and um, so he's always learning. He does, he's determined to. Uh, to learn and to keep up with everything and how to do things. And because of that, he helps me to learn because I'm not that excited about learning new things. But, uh, good. <laughs> uh, no, I do not believe in tattoos. I think it's wrong. Uh, and I know that most of the people, or a great many people in the world, and I see it more and more here where I live, more and more people have tattoos. And especially the, the women. I just see it constantly, them getting tattoos. But I, I think it's, it's wrong as, as a Christian woman I, I do not think that's right. I think it's uh, almost like mutilating your body. 
Um, God says in, in our Bible, in the Protestant Christian Bible, New Testament, when you, for a person who is spiritually born again, and that makes you a child of God, and it says we are the temple of God. When we belong to God, when we are his child, we are the temple of God because the Holy Spirit of God dwells inside us. He coexists with us. And we are to take care of our bodies properly. And um, I just, I think it's ugly. And um, it's like, to me, it's like saying, well, I, my body doesn't look good enough. I want to decorate it. But that that's not from God. It's just not from God, and I, I don't. I don't like it. So thanks for the questions. Um, someone, well, a few people have asked where did Norman and I meet uh, since we've only been married a few years, and that's something that we always enjoy talking about. We we met at at a church and. Uh, when we both found out that the other one was was single, Norman asked if I'd like to go out for coffee so we could get acquainted, and we did. We did that. We talked for three hours at a local restaurant here, and at the end of that three hours, we parted ways, and neither one of us thought that there was going to be any future for us together. It was just an okay thing. But uh, somehow we decided to get together again. We began emailing and uh, within six months time, <laughs> we were madly in love and we got married. We met in October of 2012, we got married in April of 2013, and we went back to the same restaurant where we first got together, to, and uh, that's where we got married. We had a pastor and his wife came and performed our marriage ceremony, so we're so happy that God brought us together. Um, I had a person a few days ago when I was talking, it was someone that I believe had not been on my broadcast previously, and he said, so when do you ask for money? And uh, my answer was never. That was the first person who asked that question, and I guess maybe um, most people would expect us to be wanting people to, to give us money because of our ministry, but that is not what we are about. We never, never ask for money from anyone. We are doing this uh, broadcasting from our home, and we are doing it because we love God, and we know that God wants us to share the love of Jesus with the entire world, and it's has nothing to do with money. Um, I've been asked a few times what is my job and normally I would be there today. Um, I work at an eye doctor's office and I work on I work all day Monday, half a day Thursday, and normally half a day Saturday. But um, I'm off today, and so I wanted to do another broadcast. However, my most important job is exactly this, and that is telling the world about Jesus being the only way of salvation. I, surprisingly, I've had a few people ask me if I'm a Muslim. That, 
that was really surprising to hear that. You would think just from looking at me, at my appearance, that people would know that I'm not a Muslim. And then some people have asked, do you hate Muslims? And because so many of the Muslim people have the belief that America hates Muslims. For Norman and I, hi there, Joplin 2000, welcome. This is, this is my name right here, Joplin, Selma Etker. I'm a Protestant Christian missionary in the United States. Hi there, Gossam, Gassam, welcome. Um, so what I'm doing today, for those of you who have just come on, I'm, I'm not normally on here on Saturdays because I'm working. I'm great, thank you. I hope you are well. So I'm just today reviewing some of the questions that I've been asked over the last few months for people who have not heard me before. And I just thought it would be fun to share some of this information and questions from the past. And um, so going back to the question about the Muslims, um, I've been asked, do you hate Muslims? And of course, I always say no, as does my husband Norman. We do not hate anyone. Now, we hate the sin that people do. We hate it when people kill others. We hate it when people abuse others. We hate all the sins that people commit against one another. But we do not hate the people because, as I said a few minutes ago, we have the love of God in our hearts for all the people of the world, and that's why we're on Periscope, to tell you that Jesus loves you and to tell you that there is hope for your eternal destiny because you alone choose your eternal destiny Okay, great. Uh, Lily, all right. Well, welcome. It's good to meet you, Lily. The, as I was saying, the reason we're on here is the most important message that people can ever hear, and that is salvation through Jesus Christ. Ask your viewers if they'd like for me to join in with you. Okay. But I want them to give their say yes or no to the number of people. Okay. All right. Lily and whoever else is out there uh, listening right now. My husband Norman just came to the doorway and he said to ask uh, any of you out there if you would like for Norman to join in with me on this broadcast. So, okay, great, Lily. And is anyone else, is anyone else out there listening? Would you give a yes or a no? We would really appreciate it. Okay, there's others. Okay, thank you, Lily. Uh, so those of you out there, even though you, you're not joining in the chat, I would appreciate it if you would just say yes or no, you would like for Norman to be here. Lily said yes, so far she's the only one that's answered. She says there are other people out there. And uh, so, so far, hi Jake, good to see you, welcome. You're on, oh Lily is on break from work. Okay, so you probably yes. just have a short time. Yeah, she okay. was me this morning. Yeah. Jake, you won a silver medal in Rio? Well, congratulations. Great. So, Jake, my husband is sitting over here to the side. 
Can you give me a yes or no? Would you like for him to join in with me on this broadcast? We're just talking about various subjects. He says yes. All right, we got two yeses so far. Anyone else out there going to give me a yes for a Norman joining in? He's a great guy. Oh, Lily says just us. So it only shows two on the counter. And yes. So come on over, honey. <laughs> so, Lily, I'm so happy to, to see you. Hope you, I don't know how long your break is, but. Let me fix that up, okay? Thank you, Jake. All right. Norman's <laughs> turning us sideways, so hold on. <laughs> He's re. Refocusing us. 